from scratch to trinabaho ng Omega goes to show saan ka makakarating if you have the right team behind you. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. You want to see someone from the ground up, Ramil Roda is one of them. And yung learning curve ni Ramil Roda, grabe. Yung improvement niya, maturity. Mm -hmm. Good left hand by Roda. And now, uh, two punch combinations uh, there by Roda Jr. Devilish green oh, from Roda, who has scored. Harinier needs to develop his rhythm. So far, Roda has been finding his range. Roda has been throwing combinations. He's forcing Nier to backpedal, go against the ropes. He needs to throw something. You know, the big difference here, Franco, is that um, Nier is a little bit flat-footed while Roda is moving really well, using his feet, using his angles and distance. So, tingnan natin how that will translate into this fight. Good hook to the body there by Roda. Nier goes for a flurry. However, very good defense there by Ramil Roda. Absolutely. Nier almost got him with an uppercut in the middle. Good right hand by Roda. Roda was able to see that. Answers with the right hand. Good right hand by Nier. Caught Roda's attention that time. Final 10 seconds of the first round. Good competitive round. Very difficult round to score in first round. Just depends on your preference, what you saw as uh, impactful. No? And Roda went back to boxing. Smart move. Very efficient yung footwork, chaka foot positioning ni Roda. He's able to cut the angles and at the same time adjust every time na nagpipil out tong si Harinier. Roda needs to be careful over committing with that left straight. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what Harinier is trying to time. Every time na babato ng kaliwa tong si Roda, Alam niyang naka-extend or nakababa yung kamay na yun. So bigla siyang mag-right hook. And of course, between a southpaw in Roda and an orthodox fighter in Nier, the straight is the weapon of choice because of how their feet are uh, positioned. Mm -hmm. There you go. Ayan, no? Every time na mag-straight si Roda, nakaabang na yung kanang kamay ni Nier. Very good chess match between these two fighters, John. However, it's uh, Roda who is uh, initiating the action. No? Mm -hmm. Nier is being uh, passive reactive uh -oh. so far. He's trying to go counter punch. He's eh. trying to unload yung kana, yung kaliwang kamay ni Roda. Every time he's trying to time whatever punch is going to happen with the left hand so that he can counter with his right hook or he's going to throw a grab. Good body shot there by Roda. Hey, no, see? Every time you lead straight to si Roda, meron siyang nag-aabang na right hook. Based on the positioning of Nier, an uppercut from Roda might just do the trick. Mm -hmm. He can disrupt the pattern and he can disrupt the momentum ni Harry Nier. There you go. Hindi kami nagbibigyan instructions. We're just uh, <laughs> noting our observations. Hindi kami naririnig sa venue. Harinier is trying an uppercut of his own. Now they're finding down they're fighting within the pocket. Good short left hand from Roda. Nier taking it well. I agree, John. I love the way how Roda is moving forward. You know, he's dictating the tempo of this fight. And now he's trying to finish strong. End of the round. Good round for us to start this round.
Kasi nakita niya early rounds. Roda is very comfortable fighting in mid-range and long-range. So ngayon, opening bell pa lang, lumapit na siya kagad. Closing the distance, no? He wants to fight in the pocket. Good body shot there by Roda. That one hit Roda in the face. So far, the strategy by Harinier is working. But he needs to get out of the ropes. He needs to get out of that corner. Roda is peppering his body with punches. But Nier is answering back with short uh, combinations, no? Mm. Fr from, the, from his back foot. Okay, finally, he decides to pivot out of that spot. Now he's trying to go back against the ropes. And there's the uppercut we were talking about earlier. And down goes Harry Nier with a flurry courtesy of Ramil Roda. I told you that the uppercut was going to be a deciding factor. factor here because of how um, Nier reacts after the flurry. And that is it. Harry Nier decides not to stand up. And we have another winner via TKO. Ramil Roda from Omega Boxing Gym. Franco, this is the third straight KO victory by Ramil Roda. There was a time he was even asking Doc J, doubting his power. But now I think that doubt went away. <laughs> and it's not just about having a one-punch knockout. Eh. It's not just about having a one-punch knockout. It's not just about having a one-punch knockout. So that you can set it up properly. That's one of the things that I hope a lot of fighters will start to understand. Yung mga knockout punches, hindi naman siya one punch knockout eh. A lot of the times, you set it up properly. Diba? Bubugbugin mo, i-accumulate mo, and then, pag talagang pagod na, babagsak at babagsak din yan. And that's what happened here. Maganda rin sana yung strategy na ginagawa ni Harry niya kanina eh. Kasi he was able to time with this. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now official your winner via TKO, Ramil Roda of Omega Boxing Gym. Shout out to Sugar Ray Mamot Estroso. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat, Mamot. Uh, ang kabayanan ka namin ng patuloy sa Batang Kiyapo. Shout out from Danao, Francis Myers. Ayun, talaga pa namin ito. Thank you so much to everyone who's engaging with us via the Facebook comment section. As we turn you over to John Yambao with the winner, Ramil Roda.